Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Before we get into this, I do have some very rather exciting news, news that I've been holding on to for over a year now. Have a look at this. That just happened. Introducing the Bicycle First collab over a year in the making. Now I wanna talk about these and I wanna show you what's inside and I wanna give you all the juicy details. Uh, the truth is these are coming out next Wednesday in a week from today on the 25th of January at noon Eastern time. These will be available in red and blue. If you want more updates, regular updates, head on over to Instagram at first.shop. I'll put the link in the description, first.shop on our Instagram where we post regular updates about our projects. And this is the biggest one yet. I am so excited about this and there's a big story behind this that I'll save for another video because today we're looking at three puzzles two of which I received in the Christmas exchange we got the angry line by Osama Kasho the sliding panels by Akio Kame and we have the balance scale by Tatsuo Miyamoto these are three handcrafted beautifully designed Japanese puzzle boxes like this video subscribe and let's get into solving these well here we are. We've got the Angry Line by Osama Kasho. This is the Sliding Panels by Akio Kame. And we have the Balance Scale by Tatsuo Miyamoto. These two were actually sent to me because if you're a member of the Karakori Creation Group Club, uh, you get to pick your favorite Karakori creators and you pay a fee and at Christmas time you get a limited edition puzzle. I picked two creators. My favorite were Osama Kasho and Akio Kame. Akio Kame, who is actually the founder of the Karakori Creation Group and the president. And this one I found separately, but I thought, because uh, these are usually pretty fast to solve, I thought we'd do all three today. So let's start off with the... Well, let's start off with the line. So here we go. Okay, already, this already looks really simple. <laughs> Look at the mechanism here. You see his teeth, he's like, getting angry. I'm guessing you just, oh, no, okay. Is there a sliding mechanism somewhere? Oh, there is more than meets the eye. Interesting. So now I'm looking for seams and it looks like this bottom part might come out. There's also a seam along the edge here because maybe this comes out entirely. Ooh, tricky. It looked so simple. Yeah, this definitely moves here, so. There might be a, a magnet or something. Huh. Interesting. You want to be careful with these not to break them either. You know, they're handcrafted. They're so cool, man. I love these so much. So I'm just trying to slide this back panel while I hold this down nothing seems to budge there although the back tamp panel is a little bit there's like a slight amount of give there so there's something locking it into place i'm not sure what it is i'm just looking for other seams perhaps there's one along the side of the main this looks like it might actually come out this top part here so maybe here maybe we push oh here we go Ah, if you push his brow, the bottom part unlocks. So maybe we push the brow first and then, yes. And then we push up the nose, which releases the compartment. Now again, dude, it's so, when you look at the inside of these things, you're like, that looks so primitive and simple and nothing too crazy. But they're such master craftsmen, they figured out what the best mechanisms are and how to how to capitalize on them in a unique way. And so this part here is actually part of the outside. Um, and let me see here. Ah, okay, that goes here. 
So why does that now... I'm not sure I understand why that... So that pushes there. Then the brow. Why would the brow... Oh, I guess it would just detach the magnet. So the only thing really holding this here is the magnet. By doing this, I could technically, if I got my fingers in there, probably pull this whole thing out. Ugh, my fingernails are too short. Uh, but instead, by doing this and pushing this at the same time, the ledge here, the lip, is offering a little bit more uh, push on the edge of this rounded wood surface so that it just slips over and ends up pushing out. Very, very clever. Osama Kasha, once again, a very clever box. This is such a fun gift for anyone. Also great for like, if you're into lions or your girlfriend's into lions and you're looking to propose. <laughs> very niche uh, market, but there you go. That is the angry lion. And it's funny because the name is well angry. Uh, it's his brow. Uh, and, and his teeth, you know, that make him angry. So, very clever. Next, we're gonna have a look at this here. The sliding panels by Akio Kame. Uh, oh, there we go. We got sliding panels. They, and they're magnetized. There are magnets here. Huh. I can push on the back. And these panels seem to come off. Interesting. Oh. Very cool. Oh. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I think we just lucked out here because uh, that mechanism, it felt like it was on both sides, but it was only on the one side. So I could have been here for a while, but luckily I had it on this side. That is, look at that. Look at that mechanism here. They locked in. And now by sliding up, you're able to slide it out. How cool is that? So this side. I don't think it matters which side it goes on. You'd have to, oh, you'd have to lift this up like this to slide it in, then put it back in. Wow, that is just an elegant mechanism. Look at that. So once again, I think we slide up, or slide down, slide up, flip it around so that the parts can eject, then we can extract. And now we have our compartment here with, uh, with Accio's logo. This is just a beautiful puzzle. I mean, that's something only somebody who's been doing this for decades can come up with. Because that is a new mechanism I've never seen before. And that's what I always look forward to with these puzzles, is something new. They're, they're, they're not just using the same old mechanism and revisiting it. They're creating new, interesting solutions to these puzzles. And it's just such a treat, such a joy every single time. Sliding panels by Akio Kame. Wonderful. Last, but certainly not least, we've got this, the balance scale by Tetsuo Miyamoto. And it looks as though, ah, oh dude. If you were none the wiser, like I challenge you right now to find the seam. Uh, and if you put it on this side, it is, the, like I said, the craftsmanship is so precise that you would never see that that shifts over. Does it, okay, so it goes one way here. We got another one on this side. Looks like that one goes this way, a little bit more rigid. And then we have the middle here. But we also have this tiny bottle, which looks spring-loaded.
Huh. This is bottle twists and it goes right back. You can hear a little spring in there. So this is some sort of unlocking tool. Now we slide both panels here. Is there another panel we must slide somewhere? Maybe we push this in while we twist. And there's also the balance scale here. It's very rare we get a Karakori puzzle that also has metal like this sort of exposed. Normally it's just all wood. So that's a nice little touch here. It looks like, is there another panel back here? Hmm. I feel like that needs to be tipped. As far as I know, it looks like this might push out a drawer here because this here is a definitely there's definitely a seam right there so this might be uh, the actual drawer that is my guess unless this here is the drawer and it it is sort of spring loaded out that might also be the case to sort of unlock it we would have to go here and here Ah, and there we have it. Wow, there's the inside. So a small spring in the back here. I don't, not sure where this is connected because that mechanism is hidden. However, ah, so there is a small notch back there in the wood. It's stuck now, but if I twist this bottle, and press here, that notch gets pulled up, as you can see. And that notch is the only thing, as you can see here, the wood's been sort of notched out. The, the notch is the only thing holding this drawer, back, uh, this drawer back from flinging out because of that spring back there. Now, I assume the panels on the side, were those just red herrings? because I don't think they have anything to do with anything. Let's see, let's see if we can get this back in here. So that is locked. Yeah, that drawer opens perfectly fine. So what's up with the side panels? They're just there for a decoy, how sneaky. Oh, they go down. They go down like this. Hmm, there might've been a defect here because I feel like I don't need these to go down. Hmm, definitely not. Interesting though. I thought it was a red herring when you actually didn't need them. We did kind of figure it out regardless, but that mechanism is just the coolest. This here, it feels like a little magic toy where you're like, boom, boom, and then that opens. It springs open once the scales have been tipped. Very, very well done. Super cool indeed. That is the balance scale. And those are today's Karakori puzzles. Look at, look at how perfect the boxes are for these things. They're always so perfect. You're just getting the highest quality when you order these things. So I know a lot of you are like, who would pay that much for that? I would, and so many other people actually, and rightfully so. Gentlemen, those are the three Karakuri puzzles solved. If you want to check out Karakuri, I left the link below. You do have to sign up to be a member, but it is worth it because you do end up saving money uh, instead of buying them after the fact on eBay. Uh, let me know which one of these three was your favorites in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates on our new deck of cards, which I am so excited about. Uh, check us out on first.shop, uh, at first.shop on Instagram and uh, have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.